welcome to this week's Advent Reflection. We are in the second week of Advent, so we're going to light two Advent candles. Let's go and find out who we're joining today. Well, we, we were just out in the field minding our own business. Well, we were actually minding the sheep. They are our business, to be honest. We were up on the hill, you see, above Bethlehem. It was a fairly normal night, you know, cold, dark, or just the odd bar here and a bar there. Actually, there was bars all over the place. But suddenly, above us in the sky, it just lit up. And there was this amazing laser show of lights just everywhere. And out of the light, the sound of singing. Oh, it was, it was angelic. It was amazing. It was so beautiful, the sound. But it wasn't half scary. I was really, really worried. And out of all the brightness appeared an angel, one of God's couriers, one of his messengers. And it, it was as if he'd read my mind because he calls to me and he says, don't be afraid. We bring good news. Hot off the press, he said. The saviour of the world, God's very own son, has just been born in Bethlehem. I said, wow. And he said, he carried on, he said, God has chosen you to be his first visitors. I'm sort of like, what? A new king? I can't go and visit a new king. You know, I'm smelly. You know, Bert hasn't washed for weeks, maybe two. He does smell a bit. I'm, I'm pretty pongy. And I'm certainly not dressed to see a, a, a royalty. You know, I can't go and meet a king or a queen. I'm, I'm just smelly. But the angel was as insistent that we should go. I didn't want to offend, so off we went. And when we got there, wow, we found this little helpless baby. And we felt so special to have been invited, so, so warm inside. Like his little face filled up our hearts with just so much love. It was amazing. You know, us big burly shepherds, you know, us guys up here on the fields went down and we became all sort of like soft inside. Oh, it was a real strange feeling. It really was. But it was such a special night. I'm never going to forget it. You could tell that there was something, you know, something different about him. This little baby. But it was hard to imagine, you know, how God was going to save the world. You know, he's the saviour of the world. How is he going to do that through this little baby? I don't really get that. He definitely wasn't what we were expecting. And that is for sure. But to think God, God chose us to meet his son first. How amazing was that? Us, smelly shepherds, meeting God's chosen son, the saviour of our world. Oh, how special. Thank you, God, that you love us as we are, whether we are clean or dirty, good or bad. Thank you that you chose to come into our world because you love us so much. 